Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create a business card. So I'm on the home area in the backstage view and you can see that there are a few different options here that I've already been into. But to get there, I went new and I selected business, that's the group I want. And then I searched for business cards because there's a few, only a few on the front screen. But when you search for it within business, you get all of these coming up and then you can select the one you want. So this one looks quite colorful. So that's the one I'm going to select. And now we can start to put our information in here. So you've got edit business information on this little option there, save, update or convert to plain text. So what I want to do is change that all together. And so I'm going to edit business information and select my one, which is this one, update publication. And then it will put my details in this box. Now I don't have a website, so I'll just change that to my website. So, so there you've got my details. If you don't want your address on there, you can just delete that block off and put something fancy in there, maybe a picture. So company logo, maybe let's put that in there. Bit big. So you position that wherever you want it, line it up. So it's easy training, Steve Sapson, Tractor Trainer. There's all the information you want. Now to see what this will look like when you print it off, you go File, Print, and it generates multiple copies of your business card, which is quite straightforward and easy to do. The hard thing I think you have to do is then get this to be cut correctly. I won't recommend scissors or a knife Stanley knife or anything like that, you need a proper cutter, otherwise you won't get straight edges and it won't look great. You can also laminate this as well. Now that's how you create a business card using a preset one, but if you wanted to create a new one that would from scratch, you can go through the option of blank um, pages. So let's go for more blank pages. And then you've got all of these blank options where you can select and do your own little design. Now what you have down here, look, is lots and lots of different types of publications. So business cards has got its own little folder. So we're going to a business card like so. It gives you a preview on the right, European size. And you can change color schemes to suit whatever you want. Font, business information. I've only got one business information in there, but you can change that. Um, so I'll generate this, create this one. So basically, I've just got a blank piece of paper where I need to put information in here. So if I go to the insert tab, got the business information you've already got this sort of things in there so if I go Steve Saxton put that to the top and then you can fill in the bits that you want IT trainer and so on now all this information is already populated it's easy training now if you want to change the business information or add to it I won't bother with that one um, more business information. You've got different layouts here. Now these are already preset, so you can pick these and it'll drop it in there. I'll just click on one and I can delete it afterwards. That comes in already pre-formatted. It's the wrong way around than what I've picked there, but everything's already there, including the logo. I quite like that one, to be honest. Um, if I bring a picture in, I will bring my logo in. Big one. 
So I'll just put that at the top somewhere in the corner. Now the actual color of this is pretty grim. So page design, we've already selected um, these color schemes, but it's not actually showing anything. If I go to background, there we go. Nice pink color. And that's basically how you can create your own little business card by designing it yourself. Now, looking at this, it's taking quite a bit of time to do and I don't like it. Um, let's go to file info and then you can change that business information. So let's do a new one. So that's a business one. So create new business information. I'll call this one home and save. So home has got all this stuff in. I've still got my normal one, but I'll edit, edit this one. And I don't want IT trainer, and I don't want company name, but I do want my house address and the phone. That'll do. Save. Oh, I don't want um, logo. So if I update publication and have a look, things that don't apply to this in this business information set are removed and if I go back and go to business information you can just select a different option so once you've created one or two you can then bring them back in if you if you've used this feature business information so one file could have many many different layout options and and lots of different information options just by using business information. Otherwise, you're just typing it out yourself and that, that will be a static, a static card. So if I just get myself a new one of these, just did control N and go back into that and back to business cards and pick this one. Let's have a look at different page parts and see what we can pull from here if there's anything already there let's go to more page parts and you've got different elements that you can put into your business card if you haven't already designed it yourself now none of these really fit to what i want to do so i'm not going to put any of these in but you've got the option of creating something and then pulling it through into your card so let's just have a look what this looks like Let's insert that so that's gone quite big but you say it's just a text box that's colored in that you can just put into your business card if you want let's make it a little bit bigger and then type something in there that's something like that obviously more impacting than that so back to your business information, you're bringing your name in and positioning that you're bringing all the bits and bobs in that you've already done. So I won't do it all again. And I've already said, if you want to change any of this, you can do. So basically that's all I want to talk about on creating business cards. The quickest way to do it is to use one that's already preset, uh, designed for you and change the design, which was probably the first one. So go back to, um, did I save that one? Can't remember if I saved it. Yeah, I did. So this one is one that's already been designed for you. And when you go file print, you can see that it's already set up to print off as individual cards. So the quickest way to do that would be just to, like I did use the, the business information to, to fill it in. So I'll just change that. Update from business information set. Let me just, as long as you've got the business information set, you can do this. Now be careful with um, these sort of things. We've got, I haven't got um, a web page in my information, so I just need to delete that off. Now, if you want to bring in logos or pictures, you can do. So if I go to 
pictures you saw already that I brought a a logo in. What am I doing? It says small, but it's absolutely huge. Bring that over to the top right. And position any position anywhere you want. And you might want a photograph of yourself in the top left hand corner. Make sure it's a good one. If you don't want these sort of things, you can delete them off and change change. Uh, this needs to be updated. I haven't done that one. I should say IT trainer. It doesn't say anything. So that should say IT trainer as far as I'm concerned. So I just need to have a quick look at that. Business information and need to edit that. I'm on the wrong one, that's why. Update publication, IT trainer. Yeah, so that's, um, and then we've got this problem here. It's. So I wish I'd never started this now. So that's obviously on the wrong side. That needs to be, it's left aligned. So it says so it must be a bigger box. Now this is a problem when you use templates. There we go. Because these are sat behind each other and so laid quite often. Let's just get this out of the way. And then you can position this so you can see it. IT trainer, everything else looks okay. I've got Stephen Saxton twice. Don't want that box. Let's get rid of this box. Okay. All right, so you need to be careful when you start editing these, these layered boxes. So this now looks not great, but there you go. You get the idea. So that's all I want to talk about on this little session. So hopefully you found it useful and I'll see you on the next one.